Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the rock full of brain set the moment. Three colonies spread across a bunch of asteroids. I wish to go and take over these two at some point, but we are trying to make Blagolia, our latest colony, as comfortable as possible for the duplicants that live here. I want to increase the population here if we can. And to do that, we're going to have to start spreading the power that we are making from our latest power plant here. The power just kind of feeds back in on itself. It turns itself off when the batteries are full and sits and just is like, hey, we're nice and stable. Can you do something with us now? And I'm like, yes, actually, we can do something with you right now. I'm going to bring the power spline up to the very top of the world and bring it across. This should hopefully keep this nasty heavy watt wire, which if we have a look at the F8 screen, does have a massive and negative decor bonus. 255 from the heavy watt wire. That is huge. Larger than the, uh, the debris down here, which is 70 and debris is normally our problem. So we're going to have to try and keep the heavy wire away from our main duplicants access routes and thankfully they like to come down here now as Curie is very nicely demonstrating for us so we, we can keep them back away. Another thing that I want to do is take the cooling loop that we have over here. Oh Curie's getting quite stressed uh, and let, let's just um, take some of this radiant gas pipe right back here. Copy that and I just want to run it across the bottom here. Uh, is the gold going to melt the gold? I think the gold might very well melt the gold. Let's, uh, let's actually put some steel radiant pipe down probably one of the few places I'm going to use it. Uh, still overheat temperature is 200 uh, degrees higher, but actually it's melting temperature, which is probably the one that we're worried about, is much higher than that. 2,500 degrees and the gold volcano is sticking out. Ooh, that's very hot actually. Doesn't doesn't turn the water into steam though. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to just leave a little gap like that. Let's put in a small liquid bridge jumper. Do I have any obsidian here? No obsidian here. We'll make it out of uh, sedimentary rock. We'll go this way round. This way round. And this should keep this area nice and cool. We are, however, going to have to take out some of the uh, the the. So this rock here, that's fine, that's no big problem. I'm going to bring this pipe up across here, and we'll try and figure out a way to connect into this loop here. Okay, nice and simple really, but we've got to wait for people to come along and build this. And Curie is still getting stressed. What is, what is wrong with her? Let's have a look. It's just the low morale. That's unfortunate. We, she needs to eat better food. Now the best form of food that we have at the moment I believe is the Paku and to feed the Paku let's click on them over here and scroll down. Now there's a huge block of text there but you might be able to see ooh, where my mouse is if I move it. Fung fungal spore. They eat fungal spores. And fungal spores come from the mushrooms. Mushrooms we can grow a nice and easily. And the fungal spores, we're starting to get a little bit of an excess of. Now, it is only a little bit. Oh, I can, I can spell, honestly. We've only got 20 units at the moment. 53 available uh, across the map. Uh, but we should be able to set up a small feeding unit, I think, down here. I think this little area down here is the winner. We've got some magma to worry about, but I don't think that's going to cause us any real troubles. Thank Thank you so much, Curie, getting on and doing the job. The other job we need her to do is, of course, to move this fire pole. What have we got? Cobalt. Thank you very much. And continue down. Now, I do have a bit of a problem where I want to keep this rover. So I'm going to build a wall right here. And we're, we're going to make a little um, make a little display case. We're also act as like a catching unit for, for some, uh, if anybody drops anything on the ladder, it will catch down below and we can uh, we can keep that there. We've got another rover here. These two rovers have to be honoured of the highest degree because they are of course the ones that came and dug out the original tunnels and we were able to make our way through here. What was, what was that? What was that? It just appeared and disappeared. Curie getting particularly high stress right now, so what I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> enact enact plan isolation and, and just send her off to the space fairer module so she doesn't eat all the food. She does however lose calories as she has... Ooh, that's a problem. Maybe we do want her to eat and then banish her. Okay, this might be a, a, a very sensitive issue. Okay, let, let, let's do it like this. I'm going to tell her to go ahead and eat. I don't know what she's going to eat. She's binge eating. Where is she? Paku fillet over there. Okay, that's that's fine. I mean, that's fairly good food. How much? How many calories are in this? There, there's uh, 9, 000, uh, 900 calories. That's going to take her up to about 2,000. Let's, let's work in round numbers here. 
And you know, Paku Phillips pretty good. 1.7. That's good enough for her to survive on. Let's send her back into the rocket for now. And when she feels a little bit more stable, we'll let her come out and get some real food. Where is all this water coming from? I, I actually don't understand. Gulp fish. They uh, take in polluted water and let out water. Is that is that what I'm reading here? Okay, that's using polluted water, emitting water. I didn't I didn't know they did that. Okay, I mean that's cool. How do we? What do they eat? What do they eat? Do they do they eat fungal spore? Oh, I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, it's there. Same place, third lineup. Okay, well th that's fine. That's look. If they eat the same food as everybody else, that's fine. Okay, Kiri looking good and with it now. Let's send her back out and uh, hopefully the, these build orders will get dealt with. Ah, we have this over here. Choose blueprint, have a look. Coal, salt water, farming, 13. Hang about, I know where you could be more useful. We've got a farmer on uh, but Blagolia already, but Pyaxlin seems to be having a few issues uh, that said actually we're, we're doing okay at farmer 13 though i do not want to let that go there's a small problem on our original colony of reversing over here the one where we're draining the lava out of the top uh we are not producing enough oxygen look this whole place is supposed to be this nice uh, nice cyan blue here but unfortunately this dark blue tells me that we do not have enough oxygen on the way and the reason is that we are not producing enough oxygen out of our water system over here and to trace that back it's because we're not making use of this hydrogen uh, so we need to burn some more power is the conclusion i've come to anyway so i'm going to send this power line all the way up here to a transformer to feed it onto the main spline but of course there's no builders on our original rock there, there was no need for them to be here uh, let's let's make those really high priorities as well uh, so I, i've had to um yeah commandeer everybody to get on it Okay, with that last piece in, we should now be draining out of this battery. We should probably set up some sort of control system here. Uh, I suppose it is hooked up to the generator as well. This may or may not need a knot gate on it. Let, let, let's try this for control as well, because we don't want to drain all of the power, just the majority of the power. Okay, I've gone with a buffer gate up here so that when the battery is full, the hydrogen generator will stop, but the energy flow will continue on for about 30 seconds or so, which should be enough time to drain enough power. It's not draining a lot of power. I think that's because we don't have much drainage going on on the system anymore. So maybe we just need to turn this off. Sorry, it's automation off. Let's uh, let's bypass this and then do a double split. Uh, I want to destroy that one and get everything done as high as priority possible. You know, this overcomplicates it all. Let's just let's just drain. We're here to drain everything. Okay, this isn't an instant fix, but it is a slow burning fix. That's good. We've got we're starting to get. Not so much out of this one, but the, the main living spaces are starting to uh, fill in. We'll, we'll see how everything's going in a little bit. Let's see how this is going slowly. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine over here. What about the power spline? Also slowly. Has Curie... Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. She's okay. She's just passing through. Okay, I was, I was really worried that I'd left her locked in there for a moment then. That would have been very bad. One of the other things we're going to leave Curie working on, and it definitely needs to be done, is uh, to get Levitt's, uh, Levitt's bedroom here up and running. That that would be very, very helpful. Very helpful. Probably get some more. I mean, she's not having the, the worst stress. It, it's all Curie. Still getting stress from the low morale. Too many jobs, I tell you. Too many jobs. But the joy of someone else's praise and me keeping a stern eye upon her. Curie's actually starting to lose stress now. That That's good. I was worried that she'd be stuck in this high stress scenario all of the time. I mean, that's, that's only 3% less per cycle, though. That's that's going to take a while, and I've got to be here watching her the whole time. But talking of things that bring down stress, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that bring down my stress levels. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of the very, very generous people's names who have gone to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly donation to the channel to make sure me, my computer, and the shenanigans that goes on here can carry on into the future. And so, from me, my computer, and the wall socket, Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so, so much.
So I realised the folly of my ways watching uh, Curie do that dig down uh, for the bedroom there. She ran off to go do a bunch of building when she could have just finished off the job. Uh, and that was totally because she was told to do so. I told her to do so. I was like, make sure buildings are a priority. And she she totally did. So that, that's my bad there. That's my bad. Okay, new bedroom. Love it. Off you go. Have yourself a wonderful time. Oh, we've got ourselves a little bit of a, a blockage there. Oh, I also didn't do this stream here. Okay, we, we, we can get that fixed. There's plenty of storage area for now, of course. Curie's going to just run away in weird directions. Do you reckon I can actually get her just to move back? Now that I've put the priority up, will she just go for it? That That's that's kind of the, the hope, the idea. She's sopping wet, which is a, not the best situation to find her in. But with the high morale... Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting a little bit plus. Uh, high morale, but the cold air has now come a loop come through but uh, basically her stress is on a knife edge and when i'm watching she she decreases and when anything else happens she increases stress it's it's pretty horrific all uh, right we, we can't we can't let him disappear he is a plant murderer which means he could be better oh well it doesn't matter we're, go we're gonna grab him anyway we're gonna get Faraday on board. Welcome to the place with the most food, which uh, surprises me. We should probably find out why this place is going cold all the time. I am going around, sorry, going hot all the time here. My bristle blossoms are having a bit of a problem, which should mean that this place is not working, but it, it is working and the water is coming out somewhat cold. 30, going in 31 degrees. What, what is this? How is it? How is it warming up so much so fast? We've got got some problems but i'm going around insulating where i can and i think this line here is actually causing a great deal of trouble so if we, if we get these all insulated maybe the cooling will just happen where we want it to happen what was that that was a power at look ah, it ran out of power why because we've got a very small amount of petroleum being made. Okay, which means this is freezing up. Okay, there, there, there are problems that need to be overcome. But I don't think they're today's problems. Today's problems are Curie going nuts. I think Curie's learned her lesson. She's at 100% stress, but um, not not going around eating everything. She, she obviously doesn't want to go back to the rocket. That, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I mean, it's obviously a bug, but it's a bug that I will take. Thank you very much. So you're probably wondering what horrors I'm putting Curie through here. Well, I want to be able to to expand the population over here on Blagolia, the swamp-infested rock that we have. And to be able to expand the population, one of the major limiting factors that could possibly hold us back was, of course, be the food. I think Paku is probably the best food that we have available to us, given the morale bonus that it gives you and the actual... What's he doing over there? And the actual calories as well. Curie, don't please... Please don't, don't do that. Let's move you back over there. If you could, like, take out the block from this side, I'd be much happier. Okay, that that's good. I, I don't want her to strand herself down there. This this could be the problem. I mean, we'll, we'll run a little ladder down there. We'll see if we can get that working. But I'm going to have a holding area down the bottom here for all of my Paku. Well, I, I say all of them. We've also got a little area over here that it might be a little bit more difficult to get the Paku from there to over here. But the majority of my Paku are going to go down in this area over here. And then I'm going to have a small small ranch over in the corner here, keeping some of the Paku tame. The tame Paku will be producing, uh, I think it's like 10 eggs per life cycle. Uh, so I'll be dumping all the excess Paku down here. Uh, we'll even have, let's have the shipping, uh, the auto sweeper. Let's use that. I think here will be the place where I need to place it. Of course, the ladder is totally in the way. No problem there. And bam, we slam one of those down. A gold one, no less. It will come out to here. So let's Let's put down another one. Wait, let me just check that again. That's this little uh, ri risen up section there. Of course, I also need to remove the ladder from here. Wait, I know I can rotate. Beautiful. And then with the addition of a conveyor loader, possibly one for both, I could put one there and one there, we can make sure that we remove all of the Paku eggs and the Paku fillets. We'll send the fillets straight up to the cooking area over here, and the eggs will be sent for processing to make sure that our 
tame selection of Paku. Hello, little Paku there. The tame selection of Paku that we have over here can be kept um, kept viable. Make sure there's enough enough going on. The, the, the eggs need to feed back, right? But Paku will die. We need eggs to come back. Curie's having a little trouble, but she's not binge eating, I know. She's just eating. We're at 100%. Is her stress going down? It's not. It's going up. What did she pick up? A, uh, a mushroom. This is one of the reasons. If I could stop her eating the mushroom, let's actually go into the consumables here and find Curie. All the others, they can eat the mushroom. That's no problem, but I don't want her to eat mushroom. In fact, I don't want any of them to eat mushroom. I want them to be able to eat fried mushroom, apart from Curie. Who, who needs to eat fancier things than that? I mean, we've, we've got a lot of... Well, we had a lot of cooked seafood. Hopefully, that's what she'll be chowing down on. Okay, with the very last of Curie Sanity, we're going to try and dig up underneath these Paku in this little area here. Down below, these Paku, not, not overcrowded, not glum. These guys, they are both overcrowded and glum. I'm not sure if adding this water is going to help or hinder. We're just going to let them through. We're going to we're going to see what happens here. I'm hoping that we just have a fairly ooh, 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 that that's not great. Let's put that there. Uh, I hope we have a fairly simple transfer of the of the animals here. Uh, I'm noticing that these guys are jumping around. We've got a fry egg up there. Ah, oh, that that might be a big problem actually. How do we move this? Only six percent. We could probably like drop it down in a little while. Did the the goldfish die? No, we are picking up a bunch of swamp chard though. That's that's nice. Wait, where's Curie gone? She's 100%. We're going to need to make sure that she's not... Okay, she's doing She's doing fine. She's doing fine. Let's go and keep an eye. Oh, starvate that. Goddard? No, Goddard's okay. He's not got any problems. I'm fairly sure this is all fine. Okay, let's figure out where we can set up a dumping device. Over there, actually, would be perfect. When that gets made, I'm going to get that, uh, that fry egg over there dumped in our main tank. I mean, they seem to know which way they're going. These two Paku in particular... Are there three there? There might be more than two. This guy, unfortunately, seems to have been left behind. Uh, there's not, not much we can really do about that. Okay, let's uh, make another check-in with Curie. She's just around digging. Okay, that's very interesting. Good work. Is she just, like, desensitized to the stress now? Is that is that what's happening? I mean, I, I'm going to accept it. I really am. It's a valiant move for breathable water here. I think they're I think they're gonna make it though. I think they're gonna be fine. They've got this weird little area here that doesn't actually have any liquids on it. Oh, there we go. A little bit has just settled down. That's nice. Are they gonna be able to jump all the way though? I I, I wanna see this drop. I wanna see this drop. Plop, plop. Okay, the ranch. Well, no, the, the, the movement of these creatures seems to be fine. No one is glum or overcrowded. There's a whole bunch of algae down here that I'm super worried about. But one of the other good things that we've done is we've dug up a whole bunch of clay. So if I hit this uh, this copy button, I can just throw in some more, more farms here and, and get a whole bunch more dust caps growing. We need them to feed these guys. Wow, feed the progenitors that will be these guys. <laughs> Okay, so having restricted Curie from eating fried mushrooms, she's had a proper barbecue meal this time. I'm not sure what she's going to eat next time. We, we've got some Paku fillet to be processed, so that we probably will be able to get things done. Infected by slime lung. It is a problem here, would you believe? Would you believe? Okay, let's move this fry egg. I want him to go into the dispenser, and then he should have just been dropped out. Did he, did he land here? I don't know. Oh, there it was. That was that him. There he is. There he is. He got dropped out. Okay, great, great, wonderful. We've also got one of the auto sweepers built. I presume the other one is being worked on, or will be very shortly. And of course, this then means we need a power line going through here. But that that's that's boring. We'll, we'll talk about that later. And we've got another power spline in place. This comes all the way across from our power plant over here down towards where we're keeping all the Paku. A lot of this area is getting built in place. And let me explain what is going on here. Almost everything is to do with this little holding container that we've got in the right hand side. Here we have a fish feeder and a complicated mechanism that will separate out 
the eggs that come through. The Paku inside this chamber here will be fed from the fish feeder. It will get tame, it will drop an egg very, very often, and we'll have ourselves a little bit of an auto sweeper in here. That is if, of course, this one doesn't actually pick it up, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens with that. All of the eggs come up through this solid filter and get dumped down at this conveyor chute here, where we have two doors at the top, and they switch depending on how many Pakus we have in here. The majority of the time when we have the one Paku turning over, making the eggs, this door above its chamber will be closed and the door opening to the general general holding area will be open. Thus all of the, uh, the the Pakus will jump over here, live their lives, die, their meat will be picked up, their eggs will be picked up, meat goes up to the kitchen along this line that I've built along the conveyor, uh, along the uh, fireman's pole here all the eggs will be dropped off and it just the cycle continues the cycle will continue uh, one of the great things that we had about this spline opening up here is we got close to all of these uh, like a volcano there i'm not sure which one this is i cannot remember let's uh, let's do a little cheat here natural gas geyser that will definitely be ending up getting uh, a assimilated to what we've got going here just get another gas pump in there and drag it across another thing i want to do is to get this gold volcano onto the same cooling loop as this and then we just like this one have it open in the wild oh it's dormant that's a, that's a bit of a shame have it open in the wild and dropping gold for us but that's all for future because we've got ourselves a little power substation here that i'm going to actually ask for people to come along and pick up all the stuff out of and i think i'd like to put a door up because i don't want people coming this route when there's this other perfectly good serviceable route up here because this is this heavy watt wire not great for people's uh, sanity now, just a pneumatic door will do because it's got it's uh, I'll, I'll show you on one of the other pneumatic doors it's got the ability to set down uh, custom access permissions and this one i will just turn it all off for everybody I've just noticed that once again, I've completely neglected to give people hats. Uh, let's go to the skills. Of course, our boy Faraday here, uh, he's a farmer. We, he wants to be nothing but a farmer. So let's uh, drop one on there and give him the farmer's hat. Yes, brilliant, brilliant. Do we want to carry on up? I think we might carry on up. We're, we're, he's got enough morale to see it and he's got the skill points for those two levels. It'd be nice to give him a third because I'd really like to get more, uh, more seeds out of this. I'm not sure whether we actually we get more seeds out of that. We've got to increase agriculture and crop tending. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Who knows? I, I sure don't. Oh, we're actually in a position to come along to this conveyor loader here and say what it is we want to pick up. Now, I could just be very specific, but what I'm actually going to do is hit all here. And we're going to get this conveyor loader to help pick up everything. The majority of the goods are going to get ended up being dumped right here where this steel outlet is. That's kind of fine. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen until the conveyor line gets put into place. But at least we're starting to move some materials. And this guy over here, when it's up and running, will also start moving materials. This is searching out for fry eggs. Yeah, but this should all be fine. Should all be fine. Okay, interesting. At this point, I would have expected the conveyor loader to start unloading, but I think it's because the rail goes right into this other conveyor loader before going up. I think what I need to do, and I, I really hate that you can't see behind these, is to build a new conveyor rail, yeah, yeah, that goes up and across, and then these two will be feeding into the same line. I, I hope that's right. I then also uh, split the two lines from each other. Ugh. That, that, that's not a death noise, that's a pooping noise. But anyway, I, I've now separated those two f t apart from each other, and if we get this place in if we get this bit into place, that should start passing them up to the solid filter here. Oh, of, co of, of course, of course. Why would it not be that I've put the filter upside down? Ah, that's... See, I'm going from a green to a green. You don't want it, you want to go green to, to white. Ah, oh, oh, that's... bad. <laughs> Every time I see Levitt's name, I'm like, no, that's that's not right. It's Swan Levitt. We all know it's Swan Levitt. I mean, it's the only one so far where we've got a double-barreled name, but we, we need it. We really, really need it because who who's this Miss Levitt? I, I don't know. Anyway, we've got the filter being done. Yeah, like instantly, instantly stuff started moving. Okay, that, that's good. We do need to set this up for, as I was saying last time, uh, critter egg in here. We've got the fry egg. I know how my alphabet works, honestly. And that should now be spitting things up there. And this, unfortunately, can't spit this way because the conveyor rail needs to be worked on. But rest assured, that is the next thing we are working with. And I might even get the entire asteroid involved with it. Okay, last conveyor rail has been put into place. And with that, there we go. That's the uh, 
That's the contents of the conveyor rail moving. Beautiful. Everything on the floor is going to get picked up, thrown in this conveyor loader. Any eggs that get picked up, much like this one down here, are going to end up being dumped over here. At the moment, not a problem. We'll just let them free roam as they can. Uh, also, you might be worried that at some point we're going to end up with enough Paku in this box here that we will overcrowd all the Paku involved. We can turn this into a slightly less ethical farm by uh, dropping these two tiles here, and that will then isolate any new Paku from this uh, the main squad over here uh, and we can end up with like hundreds of fish in a single tile I don't want to do that though I, I I feel I feel the need to be nice to all the creatures in this game I it's rubbish because they're just little AI why, why would I care that deeply but I do and wow, this is a lot of stuff coming through here. So much polluted dirt. I wonder how much is going to go into the composter. Uh, another thing I'm going to be doing in the background. We're, we're full of water over here. I knew it would become a problem. I really did. So I'm going to try and take out everything here and make one of those chlorine cleansing devices. Let's come over here to Pyaxlin. We've got a couple of liquid reservoirs in amongst, oh it's noisy here, in amongst a bunch of chlorine and that clears out. Let's have a look here. The germ count is going down. Look at that man, that's, that's very noisy. Let's get out of here. Wearing headphones at the moment and that was that was industrial. Alright, second conveyor up and running. It's gonna also want to output on the same line. So we're gonna have a little bit of a back and forth, a TikTok if you will, but that's fine, that's fine. It's no problems as long as they are both doing the work. It's all polluted dirt. All they're picking up is polluted dirt. Maybe we should have another another filter somewhere to send the polluted dirt off. But that sounds overly complicated for the moment. Are these beeping when they're blocked. I didn't know they beeped. I did not know that they beeped. I've just realized I have made a mistake. This auto sweeper can only reach this far. I opened this up so we weren't flooding. I guess the uh, the best way to fix it is actually by doing this. It just seems a little bit aggressive. Oh no. Oh, we've got a problem here. We've got some abyssalite that is ridiculously hot. Hopefully that's just getting picked up now. Man, look at all this steam. Uh, I dug this out to make a little bit more room. Wait, what else is on? Uh, let's put that down to a five. I dug this out to make a little more room, but man, there was hot down here, and I think most of the steam has actually condensed by now, but woo, that was, that was extreme. To the point where Curie is now like super stressed. Super, super stressed. She wasn't that stressed a little while ago. In fact, we were starting to bring the stress down. Um, well, I think we're okay. I think we're okay now. Or not. Or no, no, she's eating the meat. Not, no, we're not going to do that. We're not Curie. Curie, no. you Not the meat. Of all the things, not the meat. You will fill up on terrible meals and then we'll not, not be happy with that. Not be happy with that at all. Okay, so the way this little system here works is all about this critter sensor. When there is below one critter, we get ourselves a green signal. That green signal opens this door and thanks to the power of the knock gate, closes that door. If we were to then get one critter in there, you can see the doors will open the other way around. Isn't that magic? I think that's magic. Uh, of course, the next thing we need to do is wait for a fry egg to actually be uh, delivered over here. And that seems like it's going to take a little bit of time. There isn't one in there. Let's have a look over... Can I get the conveyor loader? Thank you. It's, there's not even one in there, but we are working through all this material and I do see a fry egg just under here. So the moment that it gets picked up, I will bring you guys back. In fact, I am going to take control of this conveyor loader, turn everything off apart from the fry egg. Pick up that fry egg. Yeah, there's two of them, three of them. Great. They come through the system and get sorted here, sent over to this place. I hope one of them is a lot more, a uh, lot closer to incubating than the other. 74%. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. I'm now just going to uh, hit the everything again. Oh, I have made a grave mistake and I've just real Look, 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 polluted oxygen. Ah, oh, it's from this polluted water. Yes, okay. Um, hmm. Ideally, what I want to be able to do is seal this off with some regular water and then pump all the polluted water out. But that's a problem for another day because we're watching this fry egg grow. Okay, I've changed my mind. I have indeed figured out how we're going to fix the problem. I'm going to get this gold uh, wire here. We're going to connect them together. Actually, there was one more. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. I need, to, I need to make that extra one. And also, I was supposed to seal this area off. So that little little bit of gold there, little bit of gold wire there did not get built. I need to uh, make sure that gets built as fast as possible. But then also, I'm going to put those two there. 
Okay, Goddard himself was the person who came along and fixed that particular issue for me. Let's get this gold wire. Oh, that's not a gold wire. That was a panel. Anyway, put them together and we should now just be pumping all the water out of here via the magic of pipes and dumping it in this what I'm going to actually call a problem tank here, but that, that, that's where we're going to be sticking all our water. I'm leaving this set up here because I might need to get back inside, but I doubt it. So we, we're going to leave that just in case. Okay, so the water is being drained. Looks like there might always be just a tiny little bit there, but we'll see what we can do about that. Here, other, uh, uh, on the other end of the map here, we've got this little hatch that's about to erupt into life. We still need to wait just a few seconds, though. Incubation 100%. I don't actually know whether we've got to get to, like, 101%. Is it like everything else in the game and actually we need to get to 103? No, it has broken its way out. Flapping around. Okay, that's good. Where is this tiny little uh, Paku Fry going to end up? Oh, yes, there we go. Hope he ends up over here. Turns out the ladder is in his way. But we're going to keep that and instantly. The moment the Critter Sensor picked up a Paku, it opened up the other way. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this fishy adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're actually, we're going to try and see if we can't figure out what's going on over on Pyat. Look, look, we're still out of power over here. So we're going to figure that out. But I will see you then. Oh. When we're gonna do that? Bye.